morning everybody our lesson is about carrying responsibility for the second course the purpose of the lesson is to contribute to knowledge of students about carrier responsibilities provide students with all interest in wide range selection of practical tasks encourage students to share the ideas experience and provide support to each other the task of the lesson discuss the beforehand given task of making a sort of care responsibilities, make students work with the text vocabulary, match appropriate meaning of new words, direct students in learning the handout materials, give tasks to analyze and express one opinion. Job description. What is job description? The reviewed, edited, and reformatted product of the job analysis. Attempts to provide statements of facts that describe the job as, a, as it is. Acts as a job contract that conveys employee rights and establishes corresponding obligations. It protects the employee and the employer by letting the employee know what is expected and what must be accomplished. Comes in a variety of forms may be used as a substitute, substitute for or by the job analysis. While not in universally accepted, it continues to be weaved by many organizations as a valuable multi-purpose personal and management tool. Okay, let's uh, see some definitions of terms. For example, position. Work consisting of responsibilities and duties assignable to one employee. There are as many positions as there are employees, sometimes even more. Example, Mr. John's secretary, purchasing. Another definition for job. Work consisting of responsibilities and duties that are sufficiently alike to justify being covered by a single job analysis, job description, assignable to one or more employees. For example, secretary purchasing. Another definition of term class. A group of jobs sufficiently similar as to kinds of subject matter, education and experience requirements, levels of difficulty, compulsivity and responsibility, and qualification requirements of the work. For example, secretary two. Definition of the term class series. A grouping of job classes having similar job content but differing in degree of difficulty, compl com complexity and responsibility, level of skills, knowledge and qualification requirements. The jobs within a class series can form a career ladder. For example, secretarial series from one to four. Another definition? of the terms family two or more class series within an organization that have related or common work content for example as administrative occupation secretly clinical definition for occupation a grouping of jobs or job classes within a number of different organizations that have similar skill effort and responsibility requirements for example, administrative occupation, secretarial, clerical. Job description, multipurpose applications. For example, planning. It provides data for establishing internal equa equity, equity and external competitiveness. Organization design, staffing levels, career ladder, career pathing, job design, pay system design. These are job description, multi-purpose applications. If you do these steps, you will achieve good result in your job or in your career. In your career. Hub. Operation. What is operation? Let's see these steps. First, requiting and screening. Next, test design. Next, hiring and placement. Another, job orientation. The next one, developing operating procedures. The last one, training and development. So, you see, job summary. A word picture 
of the jobs that delineate uh, its general characteristics, listing only major functions or activities. It's valuable to users who need a quick overview of the job. It's especially useful in job matching when the, an organization is partic participating in a pay survey. It's important that a higher level of clarity be conveyed in a few words. Code words are often used to co accomplish this goal, but they must be used with a great deal of care to avoid uh, mischaracterization of the job. Job responsibility, or in other words, duty statements. What you must, you have to do, or what is your responsibility in your job? Let's see these steps. First, describing jobs of differ different levels of comp complexity. The highest, higher the level of the job, the more complex the job requirements and associated incumbent activities. The more complex the requirements and activities, the difficult it is to describe them in clear, unambiguous term. Accountabilities. Briefly describes the major results achieved in the satisfactory performance of the job responsibilities and duties. It acts as a guide for the goal setting process that integrates job requirements with job holder contributions. Job specifications identifies the knowledge and skill demands made on the incumbent and the physical and emotional conditions under which is incumbent must work. The design of the job specification section and the information it provides relate to the kind of job evaluation plan used by the organization. Other ways of describing job facts. Let's look through these uh, ways. First, performance standards. Second one is COP. Next, position description. Then, job description. Then, class specification. These are always very important in your job or in your career. Let's solve the case. Here is given task. You must read this task and try to solve or find a good solution for this case. Task. Team up students dis distribute the case studies on the handout one. Give them time to review the case and think about their solution to the cases hand in handout one. You may use two quite different activities for the task. Refer to a and to A and B points. A. Students work out possible solution to the case and present it to the whole classes. B. Students act out the situation presenting how they would behave in the hero's position. Note, students may follow the steps for making ethical discussions given in a student's book to solve the problem. You have five minutes to prepare. Handout one, discussion questions. According, uh, by answering these questions, you will do or you will find out solution to the case. First, which duty, responsibility, and did you find the most extraordinary, usual, exciting, boring, useful? Second, what are the extraordinary duty, responsibilities have you heard of? Third one, what kind of person would do things like that for a living? Fourth, what qualities are required for each of the jobs? Fifth, which of these duties, responsibilities, would you be able to do, and why? The last one, which of them you would never agree to even if offered loss of money? Why? You have five minutes to answer these questions. See and answer. Handout 2. Conversation. A and B are talking about career. Try to find out what are they talking about and pay attention to the words which are underlined. Let's read. You look tired today. Have you been working overtime? 
Yeah, I've been working extra hours every day this week. Wow, the manager just asked me to work this weekend too. The company is laying off employees, so now we have to do extra work. I saw John packing up his things in the in his ca cubicle. Sounds tough. At least we still have a job. I can't wait till payday. I need the extra money. I should get back to work. I'll see you at the lunch break. Okay? You have two minutes to find out definitions for the line words and try to guess what kind of work they are doing. See? Okay. 